What is going on Ronin fam? Hope you guys have been doing well this year. If you're new here to this channel, I just want to say welcome to the Ronin Army. We go on epic adventures every single week. I drop videos every Wednesday and Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. I hope 2020 has been a great start for you guys. Uh, I've been chilling back home, like I said in my previous video, and if you have not seen it, go check it out. We explored an incredible place that resembled Cinderella's mansion or palace, or I don't know, some fairy tale Disney place. It was incredible. You can watch it right over here. There's also one thing I want to mention you guys. If you guys remember, I announced a giveaway in one of my videos in September. I just want to mention that I'm going to be hosting a giveaway in collaboration with my friends over at B and H. And I want to apologize for it because it's been being postponed all the time. But for the month of October, November, and December, I was in China. I was exploring places that were very rural with little to no internet. Not only that, but it was super hard because they had the, the great firewall of China, which blocks YouTube, Facebook, any international social media platform there is. So it was very hard communicating with you guys, with the people I'm collaborating the giveaway with, which is B&H. B&H and I, we finally confirmed this giveaway. It's gonna happen and you can enter it right now. The prize is gonna be a thousand dollar gift card from b and you don't know who B&H is, it's basically one of the greatest camera stores you can ever go to, located in New York City. They also have an incredible website and it ships any product internationally. So I think whoever wins this giveaway, from another country, it will be no problem. A lot of you guys wanted mixed prices, and I think by just doing a thousand dollar gift card from B and H, it will allow the winner to purchase whatever they need. And I'm doing this giveaway just because I want to help you guys out. Not only that, but we've hit so many milestones, and for the past years, I've never done a giveaway until now. And at half a million subscribers, I want to do it, and I want to start doing it regularly for the road to one million subscribers. So yeah, if you want to enter this giveaway, you're going to have to follow my Instagram account. You're also going to want to comment on this photo right here. This is the most important factor because when you comment, I'm going to write your names on a list. I'm going to put that list on a website that will generate a random winner that will be announced on January 31st. Another important thing you have to do is follow B&H. If the winner is not following B&H, they will be disqualified and I will um, randomly select another winner until I find one that's commented and followed B and H. That's all I want to say guys. Good luck to the winner and before we begin the video, smash the thumbs up. Hey. This is a pretty nice hotel room. I need way better lighting than this. That's much better. So I don't think I told you guys what we're exploring. We are gonna be exploring this huge, crazy, abandoned theme park here in China. It's probably gonna be the biggest theme park I've ever explored, left abandoned. Um, it's gonna be way bigger than Nara Dreamland. In China, there's a lot of abandoned theme parks. So there's many abandoned places in different countries. In some countries, there's just certain abandoned places that are there. For example, Europe, you're gonna find a lot of abandoned houses or mansions or palaces. In Japan, it's pretty well-rounded. Same in America, but in the east coast of America, you're gonna find like a lot of abandoned asylums, hospitals. And here in China, you're gonna find a lot of abandoned theme parks. So I think that's the unique abandoned thing in this country. Anyway, check out the view that I have. Nice. It's nice. pretty dope. Hey, my window's open. I think that's better. Well guys, I'm gonna rest up now and go to sleep. I will see you when I wake up.
just by the drone shots, you know already that this place is absolutely huge. So we're gonna go one by one to each ride that's around here. First up is this. Damn, that's sick. So John just told me a little bit of the history about the place. Apparently, this event theme park was never in use. It was built around 2010, and because of political reasons about the land, um, this place, or the, the, the government decided that this place wasn't allowed to be open. It got abandoned in 2015. But that's the crazy part, all those years, and no one's ever used any of these rides or ever set foot here besides Urbexers. That's crazy. Yeah, and they say it, the, play, the whole place costs about six billion to build, actually from the very beginning. Chinese dollars. Yes, yeah, chi chi Chinese yuan. Okay. Yeah, so it's a lot. Yeah, that's a ton. I wonder what's that in US dollars. Let me Google it. No way. Really? Eight hundred fifty-two million dollars. What? I do. China's kind of like China's Wikipedia. Damn. This whole place is very big, and uh, they're trying to make the one the place one of the best amusement park in China. So it's very high-ended. Right. And you can see that area. Maybe when we go later, it's Chinese styles. A lot more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be here for hours. Let me show them this room really quick. So here's a glimpse of the control room. As you can see, it's relatively modern and looks good as new. There's just a lot of dust on it, but that if that were to go away, yeah, I, I couldn't tell this would be abandoned. Yo, <coughs> this is the most insane entrance I've ever seen. Wow, take a look at that. Dude, those statues are huge. Man, this game is crazy. The moment you enter, it feels like you're in ancient China. Wow. Dude, there's imperial statues, there's dragon head statues. And it looks like there's some sort of symbol or an emblem here on the ground too. As you can see, there are some dragons and uh, frogs right over there. And there's a little ball in the dragon's mouth. Uh, if the earthquake happens in any specific directions, the ball will fall into the frog's mouth. Yeah, ah. let's just tell you where the Dude, that's pretty cool. earth earthquake happens. Yeah. yeah, it's a good way to detect it. And that's like what they use in the ancient times? Yeah, or? yeah, in the ancient time, yeah. Damn. There's this long shaft uh, down in inside, down to the ground right. to detect the earthquake. Take a look at the design though. It's very, very Chinese. Wow, it actually does feel like we're walking through like an abandoned village. And we just made it to the Ferris wheel. Watch your head here. If someone wanted to, they can climb this thing. Uh, I'm not gonna do that today. It 
like it was still being renovated. It looks unfinished. They were gonna make a huge water slide for this. This kind of looks like this could have been some sort of little racetrack. A roller coaster ride. We're now gonna be heading towards this little area in the park that was recreated as Finland. It's like a little Finland village. Well guys, it's been such a blast exploring this place. Probably my favorite theme park ever. It rivals that of Nara Dreamland when it used to be not demolished. This is the craziest theme park I've ever been to. So yeah, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button if you've been enjoying it. And if you wish to support content like this on my channel, definitely check out my Patreon page. I'm trying to grow that this year. So I'm gonna be promoting that hardcore. The links will be in the description for it. I'm gonna make our way towards the entrance. But if you're from Finland and the architecture does look similar in the country, definitely leave a comment down below. There's been so much brush that we've been walking through. I think I came here at the right time. Because I bet if I came here during the summer or the spring, there'd be like giant spiders the size of my hand. Because that's usually how big the spiders are around here. We're like on the opposite side now. Like it's made of plastic or plaster. Glass fiber or something like that. Oh. I think this is my favorite location in the theme park. You got this headless dude right here. Oh man, that fountain is one of my favorite fountains I've ever seen. Yeah, the whole architecture changed into some European style. Try to sit on a hand or something, but yeah, not that heavy enough. By village, I was expecting like tiny homes on each corner. The statues kind of remind me of the Japanese billionaire's mansion. If you haven't seen it, you can watch it right up here. Oh, yeah, take a look at this though. I believe the guy up there is Leonardo da Vinci. Check out those statues on the wall right there. Kind of reminds me of Egypt. That kind of looks like Anubis. Wow. Yeah, we're walking through a palace right now. Oh yeah, it looks like a Colosseum. I feel like this was sealed off before. Right. Hope we can get down by going inside. 
The first room is completely empty. I kind of have a feeling that every room is going to be like that. Oh, I found the stairs down. I'm going to head towards the entrance of this building. Yeah, that's definitely my boy Anubis right there. Yeah, there's nothing. Infirmary, Superwave Tumbling, Titanus Glacier. <laughs> so I guess that wasn't like a Finland village, but that was known as Titanus Glacier. Guys, we want to keep this place private, secretive, so that it stays preserved as always in abandoned locations. I always want them to stay safe. So I'm blurring out everything, but this is basically a map right here. I found some shoes. I bet, but like homeless people live here. I'm very surprised that this theme park has something dedicated to Leonardo da Vinci. Alright guys, so we just came back from when we first started. It's so much brighter now. Looks like someone's growing some peppers. I'm not sure what this could have been. Looks like it was used to pour cement. All right, so we have one more area of the park that we have to go through. Kiki's Paradise. Looks like more for kids. <laughs> Even have the food court right here. You can tell by the burger. I guess this kind of ride would just go full circle and gradually get higher and higher up. The machine is still unboxed. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's still in the wooden crates. That's how you know that this place has never got the chance to be in use. Oh, that's so cool. It's a little like teacup rides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can go downstairs. Yeah, we should definitely get a closer look. This. Yeah, this is the queue. They're expecting so many people to line up. They had high goals for this place. But today we got Fast Pass. Skipping the queue. Oh, yo. I read in on something like this when I was in Korea. If you've got a dashboard, you can fire at somebody else. <laughs> Really, that's it. <laughs> yeah, check out the queue on this one too. Crazy coaster. Maybe they did that on purpose. Yeah. Maybe. Supposed to be crazy coaster. Dude, I'm surprised that there's uh, English. Yeah. That's for the tourists too. believe it the cat got eaten there's a photo of it 
when Lily came here. No, rest in peace, dead kitty. Let's all give a thumbs up for the dead cat. There's animals dying left and right over here on this ride. Yo, that's goofy. So we just saw all those rides over here. It looks like they would just play one of those ball games where you have to hit the object but this is the last destination that we have to see it is the carousel it's actually gorgeous and yo yeah i saw it i heard it there's a chicken right there and maybe that's free that's free by the security yeah it's this pet chicken have you guys have you ever seen a double deck merry-go-round before because i haven't leave a comment down below if you have that is beautiful Okay, thank you so much for making this far to the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. This was probably the most incredible abandoned theme park I've ever explored. I know way back in the day, my, my top abandoned theme park was not a dreamland, but this was just so much bigger and so unique as well. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video now. Stay tuned for more videos for the China series. We have a ton dropping every Wednesday and Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern time. But until next time guys, live a life of freedom and wander and I'll see you all in the next adventure. Peace.